Hey guys and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Red Steel 2 on the Wii. In the last part we... hold on. Nice. In the last part we took an elevator. And that's pretty much all that happened, really. We, there was an elevator, we, we rid it. Uh, then we, we got to a different area that's still on fire. Why is everything in this game on fire? Why can't there just be a nice area that isn't on fire? Sure, it'll be a bit boring having a game set in, like, Nice Town where everything's dandy and nobody has any problems, but yeah, there's so many... Why? Who blew up all these trucks? You know, in the last area we were in, I blew up all the trucks, so that's fair enough. Oh dear. And this is what you spend most of your time doing in this area, unlocking that gate, so... I hope you got a good look at what's behind it, because that's the goal for the next, like... Well, not hour, but at least half an hour. And also, you probably want to keep an eye on that symbol. If you are... Or, I need to keep an eye on that symbol, because that tells you where all the side mission stuff is. Not that you would know that until you start the side mission, but... Oh well. Wild Wild Where? Or Wild West Where? That's pretty cool. I feel like that's a joke, and obviously it is a joke, but it seems like they could have done something more there, you know. More pun, more puns or something. Well, it's you again! Is this the same guy that was running away before? Because it seems like it could be. Oh, these guys are getting tough! That guy didn't even care, right. Nope, not even gonna bother with you. Yeah, how come the armoured guys, when you, you know, you slash them, they stop their attacks, but anyone else? Okay, I want to go for you. Ah, oh, can I reach? No, I can't reach him. Okay. Actually, I want to go for you. There we go. Yeah. Like I've said many times, there's no point going for the big enemies when there's still small enemies around. Because, like, with this game, you kind of need to just not- Ah! Oh! That's harsh. You need to just not take damage at all, rather than take, like, try and take small amounts of damage. So really, any damage you can avoid taking is definitely it's worth doing. So that's why it's worth killing those small guys. Because if you try and kill the big guys while the small guys are still around, then you're going to take small amounts of damage. But as you can see, my health bar isn't that healthy at the moment, so... Oh, I don't have that much to it. Right, let's shoot that. There's another three grand in the old pocket. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, but yeah, you do get money for um, fighting enemies, and enemies do respawn, so if you ever are in desperate need of money, you can just grind off the enemies if you really want. It's not that fun, but <laughs> cause grinding isn't fun. Right, who's in here then? Oh no, it's you. Yeah, it's pretty bad. How come this guy always has, like, hammer guys outside his house? They seem to be fascinated with him. Yeah, I, I was suspecting them too, Mr. Hawaiian shirt, or flower shirt. I like your shirt. Oh god. Clan war? But all my clan's dead! <laughs> this is not gonna go well for me. And oh, that guy's like... Are they, did they give him man boobs? Why is that line on his chest in the middle so defined like that? It's kinda gross. Oh god, okay, this isn't the place I want to go to. I want health upgrades. Okay, well, we can now buy the Tommy gun. <sighs> Rent ammo. Yeah, let's buy the Tommy gun. Why not? The Tommy gun's actually really good, but that's the similar problem to the shotgun, as in you don't get too much ammo for it. So, really, you can't go that crazy with it all the time. Well, you can, but you're just going to run out of ammo. Yes! I did the elevator thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's, that's the way it has to be. Let's do this! Yeah, I know what a tiger is. You don't have to do a pose. <laughs> right, use the tiger to do counter-attacks. Hold A, then shake at uh, the same time. There we go, the tiger. Yeah, when I was talking before about how there's a better parry move, or parry move, parry move. This is it. Because with the parry, you just block attacks. 
but which is why it shouldn't really be called a parry because it's not. Why I blocked that? What are you talking about? There we go. Yeah, this is an actual parry attack because then you can you actually then counter attack afterwards. So it seems yeah, it seems a bit odd that the other one's called a parry. Oh god, I'm completely messed up. What am I? What am I doing? There we go. Take this. Oh, right. But yeah, that's the reason why strong attacks glow, or why they make it so when an enemy has a strong attack they glow. They don't just glow to make it seem cool or cartoonish or stylish, they actually glow for a reason. They glow so you can, you know, use the tiger, grr, because it's great and all that stuff. All those tiger jokes. Okay, let's take a new mission. I don't know why this guy disappears. They make, yeah, that guy... Weird chess guy always disappears. Look at all these missions we gotta do. Okay. Someone's put up for uh, posters. Oh yeah, the wanted posters. Yeah, I probably won't be getting all these either. The want finding the wanted posters isn't that bad, but it, you kind of just have to look out. Ugh. Well, I remember with this specific side mission with the wanted posters, I didn't do it last time. And that's because you have to really look out for them. Oh, you, you, they're not that well hidden, but yeah, they're just not they're not that well hidden, but they're still kind of annoying to get. See, I mentioned it in the last part about how gun guys you can't with these guys. My biggest advice to killing them is don't approach them; just shoot them from a semi distance and just jump around like an idiot like this. Yeah, because you just can't do anything to them if you're up close. Okay, let's scan the area for any more wanted posters. Doesn't seem like there's any, so let's, let's move on. But yeah, I probably won't get all the wanted posters. Because you have to, uh, just going back through this whole area can be a bit annoying. Well, this area is actually pretty big, so if you miss one wanted poster, then you're like, well, it could be anywhere. <laughs> awesome. And there's no, it's weird. One thing that's kind of odd about this game, they give you a map. Which, you know, constantly give you a map. I guess I should do the tiger. Come on then. Whoops, messed that up. Because the tiger actually does come in useful. There we go. The tiger! You don't even know! And then, just to finish it off, let's do one of these. Boom! I said, boom! Yeah. Oh, he's still alive. Is he? No, he's dead. I was going to say, you better be dead. I wouldn't be able to take that. Even though the physics of the whole situation doesn't really make sense. And I'm not just talking about a guy hovering in the air for a second and a guy jumping up to, you know, slash him again. I'm talking about how slashing someone upwards with a sword. Like, ow! <laughs> I don't think you can really do that. You would just slice them in half, more likely. How much force you would have to give. Oh, they would just be really hurt. I guess that's the reason why there's no blood in this game still. Well, there's no blood in the game because they was going for a more stylized kind of thing. Which is what, you know, in Red Steel 2 there's no blood because they... I don't know. It was I really don't know why there's no blood in Red Steel 1. Even though it's called Red Steel. But in this one they were going for a more cartoony thing. Stylized stuff, but... It's a good thing they did because if they went for more realism they would probably have to take out some of these more horrible moves that they added in there. Yeah, actually, I think, yeah, this is the biggest area of the game. But to go back to what I was going to say before, is that there's no overall map screen. So they give you a map constantly on the thing and tell you exactly where to go, but you can't, like, press start and you find there's no map. And I really don't know why. It seems like an odd choice. Because if you're going for side missions, I think the whole point is that with side missions, you just do them as you go. So don't worry about it. <laughs> but... If you, if you like, miss one thing on the side mission, it would be handy to be able to look on a map. Alright, let's show off the Tommy gun. And, nope. Oh, I didn't. Probably should have done the tiger. There we go. Nobody likes the tiger. I have no idea why that move's called the tiger, by the way. Why is it about a tiger that would block? Right, let's... Screw you! And you! Oh, so he just kicks all the time, it's rude. Yeah. 
So the Tomcat's pretty good. But once again, it's odd because you have this shotgun, double barreled, and the Tommy gun. It's just all, it's all Time Splitters 2. I think I already mentioned about the shotgun making me think of Time Splitters 2, but so does the Tommy gun. Like, it doesn't even. It looks really like it, it just has some gold stuff all over it. But I'm not going to complain. Because Time Splitters 2 is so good. Ah, uh, who put that there? Who put that hovering against that water tower? I think it's a water tower. Right, no, there's got to be, before I go, there's got to be some wanted posters in here somewhere. See, the wanted posters, it's quite, it's actually quite a good side mission because they don't stand out at all. Like, they're just a sign with a picture of your face on it. So they just don't stand out. So actually, you have to keep an eye out for them if you want to do the quest. So, I mean, that's pretty, well, not cool, well, not really clever, but noteworthy, I guess, that you really do have to keep an eye out. But then again, this thing, you know, the tokens, they glow gold, so you, it's kind of hard to miss. <laughs> but if you want to do the side quest, because with the side quest, you don't even get that much money for it, I don't think, anyway. I can't remember, let's press C. Oh, God. What? What happened? What? What happened with the lighting? The door went like a really weird colour there. I, I think that might... That might have been my fault, because I pressed C at the same time as I opened the door. That was weird. And no, they don't explain how the characters jump from area to area and why each one looks exactly the same. Because, like, this girl always has these green screens behind her and all her lab stuff. But you see her in, like, five different locations, so... So they don't bother to explain that. Oh, I don't want to go train with that guy. He's weird. And he doesn't like me for no reason. Even though I've been nothing but pleasant to him. He even saved his life. Okay, what do you want to teach me now? Why? Why is this here? <laughs> we already did this. I swear we already did this. And I'm now going to have to do horizontally? Okay, I know. Why are they... I swear we did this. Like, this exact thing. Okay. Well, we didn't do this, but... There we go. But I... I re this is really confusing. This is the only two... Or this is one of the tutorials where you, like, can't... I can't justify it being here at all. Like, there's no reason why this tutorial is here. Because you would have assumed this by now. Although, really, this is just an indicator that, like, by the way, there's going to be people that block all the time. But you would have figured it out, wouldn't you? Oh, I figured it out. Because when you see a big hench guy who's blocking, you'll be like, Ah! Slashy, slashy, slash! Well, that's what I would do anyway. <laughs> or maybe I'm just a psycho. Right, we, so we got Katana. And yeah, see, now we can pimp it out. You absolutely want to do this. Um, yeah, let's go all the way. Let's go all the upgrades. Um, these are the powers that we've learnt, although for some reason the rush isn't here. Oh yeah, because you buy yeah, the rush is up here. Yeah, that's the rush. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll, show, I'll t show you what they are. Jump attack, the hero rises in the air before slashing downwards to knock down the enemy. Not that useful. Oh, it doesn't sound that useful anyway. A devastating 360 slash which damages all the enemies surrounding the player. That's pretty good, but I can't, I don't think I've ever brought it before. Uh, quick and uh, oh, you know what? Let's mix things up. Okay, let's go. Yep, let's go talk to this guy. Uh, combine. Oh no, wait. I think I already did this. Did I? Ah, oh, yes, yes. This is the move I was looking for. This is a really good move because you both. You yeah. You can like you dodge and then you shoot and then it just like yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to explain what you guys are already seeing, so I'm kind of a bit silly, really. Yep, and then you punch him. That's the, it's a cool move, because you actually punch him to knock him out. But this move's really handy, because uh, you're not a hun I don't think you're 100% accurate when you shoot, but it's really high, you know, you're going to hit them with your bullets, anyway. And also, it's just really useful, okay. And that, that's pretty cool. I never used that finisher, but it's a cool finisher. 
Yeah, the shot is absolutely worth doing. Because the good thing is, you get a shot in, but you also dodge at the same time. So it's like, whenever you dodge, you might as well shoot a bullet at the same time. So, And you know what? Because we're running low on time, let's buy one more move. Uh, let's see, what can we buy here? Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, I'm broke-ass broke. Let's get the storm. That sounded pretty cool. Okay. Because I can't... I don't think I brought this move before. Combine two basic moves. Tap Z and then swing horizontally. Oh, that's pretty cool. Why didn't I buy that move before? <laughs> okay. That's a really good move. I really should have brought that move. And it stuns them. Because that's the good thing. With these extra moves, it's combined two basic moves. There's a reason why they tell you that. It's because that's... It's to keep it simple. You don't have to do any advanced stuff. You just have to combine two moves, which means you go. You're going to do a lot of these moves like accidentally. Like with the shot, I do it accidentally all the time, and it's really cool. Oh, I should have brought this move before. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, when you see enemy attack, use the storm to finish off the enemies. Oh, that's pretty handy. I'll swing right. Oh, I, I swung left. Okay, <laughs> I'll go with it. I think I just had to swing horizontally. But anyway, with that, uh, I think it's a good time to end up the part. So next time in Let's Play Red Steel 2, we are going to go kick some ass with our brand new moves. Yeah! Oh, I can't do it. Oh, yeah! Oh, I can't do it. Oh, well. So I've been on Storm 23. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.